Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Tim Botuk, and this is the joy of painting Middle Earth, a time when we get together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. All right, and thank you for joining me. As you can see, it's a little dark this evening. That's right, we're painting at night, and it's one of those times where we paint a scary painting. That's right, you can see I've got this canvas, and we've prepared it. And how did we do that? Earlier today, this was a white canvas, but I covered it with black acrylic gesso. That's right, I just made it a black canvas. And those are so fun, because you know it makes the details stand out so much richer. That's right, and we've prepared it by we've gone over the black with an alizarin crimson. That's right, you can see there's a big old mess right there in my palette. I've already done that, I've just covered it just with alizarin crimson, and you'll see that color stand out. And why did we do that? Because we want this, this painting to have a lot of fire in it. That's right, we're going to be inside of Mount Doom. Oh, and Sauron will be there. Oh, that devil himself. There we go. So let's get started. Let's get started. Now I've got my colors. I told you alizarin crimson. We have burnt umber, ivory black. Uh, what is that? That's yellow ochre. That's what that is. And today we have cadmium yellow. That's right. And of course titanium white. So what we're going to do is I've got my fan brush here, just a dry fan brush. We're just going to go into this cadmium yellow. Just load that up on the brush, and you'll see the, the colors of this alizarin crimson come out. Now, what we're going to do, we're inside the cavern, so the whole thing is going to be reflecting these fires that are down here at the bottom. That's right, so let's just start here. We'll say there's a big fire right along this side. Oh, that plume coming up here. So we're going to start, and we're just going to work our way out from that. Okay, so just these crisscross strokes. So oh, there we go. You can see that alizarin crimson coming out. Oh, yes. And there we are. And this will turn into some fire for us. There we go. And if you want it to stay more yellow, you just, you don't go back into it. But this is going to be a dark. So it, we want to come up. We want to load up that yellow again, but we don't want to use that brush with the red on it. And actually, let's go. We're going to, since we're covering so much canvas, we're just going to come to our, our one inch brush our clean, dry, one-inch brush, and let's put that cadmium yellow right on there. We'll load that up. There we go. And we've got that there. Let's do another. We'll, because there's a few spots here. That's right. It'll go right here. Bring that out. Bring that out. Yes, you can see that fiery color coming in there. And this is going to go all over our cavern. So let's... We're going to clean that brush off. And what we do is we, we wash our paint in odorless paint thinner, and then we just have a rubbish bin down here. And we're going to... Oh, we're going to beat the Sauron out of it. That's right. Oh, and that's who we're painting today. So he's going to get mad at us the whole time. Every time we wash the brush, he's going to be looking down at us going, Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? Arr. Maybe. Maybe so. All right. The baddie of the baddies, Sauron. There we go. We got some more loaded up there. Let's come in. Oh, right there. And we're just going to bring that oh, all over this canvas. That's right. And you see it gets red. We just wash that off right there. Beat the Sauron out of it and come right back into that yellow. So you see we're not, we're not turning that red every time we come back to it because we're washing it. Oh, let's do one right here. That's right, we just come in. There we are. Uh, 
and back to it again. We're going to need some more of this yellow we're using a lot today. We're using a lot today, that's right. Right down, let's do right here. All right, and we come up. There we are. There we are. Come back to our yellow, and we'll just come up here. There we go. There we go. And let's go with some more on here. Just load that up. All right, right in here. Come in and bring that out. There we go. All the way up, all over this canvas. There you see. You see it's going there. And that looks... More of that yellow. Oh, right there. There we go. Now what we're going to do, let's wash this brush one more time. Just to get all that red off there. Just beat the Sauron out of it, that's right. And we're just going to come to, oh, just a clean, dry two-inch brush. One of our big brushes now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to soften this out because this is pretty harsh here. So what we do, we're just going to soften this just like that. There we go. And we can even go, oh, to our blender brush. If we want to take this and we really want to soften it out, oh, we just come like this. And this will give those just that flame appearance. Oh, because you have lava right down here in Mount Doom, reflecting that red up from there. There we go. Those just mix together and make those flames. There we are, just knock some of that off when you're getting a little too much on there. That's right, that's right, just this cavern. Let's come back, let's do a little more yellow in there. So let's go back to that. I'm gonna put some on my palette. There we go, I got a little more. Mix a little more yellow in there. Just find some spots. Mix that around. Just to keep those flames going. And I'm not too worried now about getting it mixed together. There we go. We're just picking it up and putting it in. There we are. Let's come up there a little higher with that. Just mix that in. And these edges, oh, they just fade off. That light fades off. And go back to our blender brush. And let's just, we're just doing circles here. We're just making these flames. That's just the way that heat comes up, it just rolls. There we are. There we are. Now, that's just for the background. If we want to do... If we want to do some other flames, we can come in and do some specific flames with a palette knife, just running those through. But for now, that's just... Just our background, there we go. Now we want to put some cavern walls in here. All right. 
All right, let's do some cavern walls now. So we have our, our burnt umber here. We're just gonna come, we're just gonna put that down and let's mix some of this alizarin crimson because these rocks will all be red. That's right. Just mix some of that in there. There we go. So let's put that in. And then you have your cave walls. They're just going to kind of come in. You'll just start to see them as they fade in some places. The flame will just overtake it. And we're just putting this in just like we're putting a mountain in. These are just those cave walls. There we go. Just mix that up, mix that up. Just pull it up and push it down. There we go, just like we're doing mountains. So oh, I'm knocking things around here. Just like we're doing mountains. You can see those walls, but the reflection of that flame that's on there. And I hope that's not too, I hope that's not picking up the glare too much. Maybe I can turn this just a little. Now, hopefully you can see that this, I'm not in a professional studio here. This is just my little hobbit hole. So sometimes it works out and other times it can be a little hard to see things, but we just bring this, these cave walls down. That's what we're doing. Just bringing these down. Now I had the chance to meet many of you this past week. I was out at Megacon in oh, the city of Orlando. I think some of you probably heard of that. Oh, it was a fantastic event. All kinds of artists and fans and oh, there were a lot of great artists there. That's for sure. And some of you even stopped by to see old Timbo. Oh, I appreciate it. I saw lots of hobbits and a wizard or two. Oh, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll be able to come somewhere near you in your part of the world, wherever you are. One day, one day, one day I'll get out that way. When I'm off adventuring. There we go. Put these cavern walls in. I hope you can see it. I hope it's all for, it's not all in vain here. Just putting this in. But sometimes if you have to, you can use your imagination when you watch old Timbo paint. That might make it a little better. That might make it a little better. I don't know. I don't know. Still mixing that up. And let's bring this down a little further. We get a little darker there. And that just given us, oh, that gives us a pretty cool effect there. I hadn't even planned that. I hope it looks as good for you as it does for me. Because boy, oh boy, I tell you, sometimes when I make mistakes, or I don't even plan on something, I can plan and I can try and oh, it, it doesn't always work out the way I try. Oh, I'm knocking over brushes over here. I'm knocking over more brushes. Don't worry, none of them had paint on them. Not yet anyway. All right, bring this right down this way. Just mixing up more of that color. 
We're going through a lot of paint today because this alizarin crimson we put down, it's not that wet. It's not like that liquid white or liquid clear that sometimes we put down. This was... There we go. That alizarin crimson, it, it's pretty thick too. So it's like putting thick paint on top of thick paint. There we go. Oh, that'll make a mess. Now, you want to hold your palette knife with a very light hand, a very light touch, but you don't want to drop it. I'll get paint all over my feet by the time we're done. That's right. That's right. You be more careful than old Timbu. There we are. Bring this right down this way. There we go. And we'll bring this down right here, right here, right here. And let's try and just march this off the canvas over here. There we go. There we go. So we have our background, that wall down there. Now I'm not even going to clean this off. I'm just going to just pull that off and let's go into some of this yellow here. Let's see what that does. Oh, we'll start right about here and let's just give some highlight on some of these walls. Oh, that looks a bit... Oh, I guess it works out. That works a little bit. That works a little bit. Maybe try some yellow ochre in there. Tone that down a bit. There we go. Let's try that. See how that looks. There we go. Oh, yes. So that's where that flame is highlighting the wall there. I knew I'd put that yellow ochre on that palette for something. There we go. There we go. Just bring this here. And that gives us that reflection. That reflection off those walls, the flames. There we go. And this is just sort of an experiment. Just something new we're trying. We've done some of these before with flames, like our painting of Lake Town where smog was burning it up. Burning it up. And oh, we did the bridge at Kazadun also. Another one of these fiery paintings. These are fun, I tell you. Fun to do, fun to do. And there we go. Look at that, look at that. And that quickly we have that wall, that cavern wall, just picking up that light. There we are. Now 
I tell you what though, when you don't put that liquid paint, that liquid white, that magic white that we put down, or uh, liquid clear, oh, it takes a lot of paint. We've already gone through most of the paint we put on our palette. That's right. That'll just fade off into the distance. That's right. And maybe up here we can just put some indications like it's further away. Running out of paint there. All right, I got some more yellow ochre there. And we'll just come right here and then up here. Maybe there's some... Some of the cave walls up here that just go off. I probably could have done this a lot quicker. Maybe I'll have to speed some of this up. There we are. There we are. Well, let's get to it. Let's get down to business. All right. Now there's a reason why we're in this cave. Oh, I believe you know that reason. Oh. That one who betrayed everybody. Oh, we'll put him. Oh, he'll come. Let's put him right about here. Let's see if we can put him in. Just. There we go. Right on top of that work we already did. This might get a little detailed, so we'll see how well we can do, if we can do it that well at all. There we are. We'll come back and we'll highlight this. Now I know you're saying, oh, Timbo, that doesn't look like much. That's right. That's right. We just put down that silhouette and then we build on top of that. So what we do is we're putting in, oh, that villain. That villain right here. With the spikes on his helmet. And we'll come back on him and we'll do some highlighting on this. So that highlight will pick up the details. So right now we're just making the shape of our villain. We're just making the shape of him. Hopefully it turns out. Hopefully it turns out there. There we go. Oh, and then some people are fans of Sauron. Oh, that's right. I'd, I'd be careful around those people. Oh, that's right. That's right. He was not... Not one who enjoyed anything but malice. And he did not share power. matter what Saruman thought. But we had our alliance of elves and men and dwarves. Oh, and we can't forget hobbits. That's right, you know the stories, you know the stories. Some of you know the stories better than this old hobbit. That's right. My Grand Gaffer Gamgee. Oh, he went with Mr. Frodo to destroy that ring. That's right. Now we're doing a cape. We'll say he wears a cape. We'll bring that down this way. A 
and his long legs. I imagine he had long legs. For a hobbit, you don't trust many people with long legs, that's for sure. Oh, long shanks. There we go. So that's coming in nicely. I hope that I hope that looks fine for you on your end. This guy here. Oh, you know the tale. He deceived. He deceived everyone. And let's bring his arm, his other hand out this way. Everybody got magic rings. He was like, oh, he's like, you get a ring, you get a ring, you get a ring, everybody gets a ring, and I control them all. That's what he said. That's what he said. Oh, but there were some things he didn't plan on. Mainly hobbits. That's right. In the end, all the stories, all the wars and everything else. And he just couldn't imagine that somebody wouldn't get the ring and do evil with it. Or wouldn't be easily controlled by it. It didn't even cross his mind. He thought everybody would fall under its power. Let's see. We'll bring this flowy cape back this way. There we go. And he's got that gloved hand, that gauntlet raised in the air. Now these are all hard details to do. We may have to come back at some point and fix them. We'll see, we'll see. But you put that paint on, it's a little bit thick. There you go, you see that? It's a little thick on there. And that creates a lot of texture. So when you come and you look at a painting like this in person, it stands out from it. It stands out from the back. I know as you're watching it on your pocket palantir or your big giant palantir, however you're watching, I, I'm a little afraid when I think about people watching it on one of those big palantirs. Oh boy. Oh, I can't imagine Timbo's head being that big. It's big enough. My head's big enough in person. That's right. But... When you see it, it almost looks, that paint looks like it's coming right out of the picture. Right out of our picture, that's right. There we go, and he's going to be standing, he's going to be standing on a rock that juts right out in there. That rock juts right out. So let's see a little more detail on him. Just on these, on this helmet. This helm. Made to intimidate. Anyone who saw him. But it was mostly orcs who ever saw him. He stayed in most of the time and didn't make many appearances. But when he did on the battlefield... Oh, yes. All right, so what we'll do here is we're just going to come right over this. So we're, our perspective, he's standing up on this ledge here. Look at that. Right there.
just comes out that way. And unlike the walls back here, we're here doing that's really dark there. And we'll come back and like him we'll highlight we'll highlight this rock too. And you know this path. You know that path. Oh, you know what happened there. Oh, how the fate of the ring came to an end right there. And we just kind of let that fade off into those fires down there. And don't make it too, too even. We want it to look, we want that having the rocky feel to it. Just bring it back that way. There we go. There we are. Now, now we're going to make this rocky and we're just going to come to some of our titanium white here. And we're just going to mix up a dark a dark color and then we'll go with some of the flame highlights on that. But we just want this stony color. We want to get that pretty dark. And you'll see, going against that straight ivory black back there, this will stand out a little. There we go. It'll stand out a little and then we'll highlight it some more. There you go. You're just lightly dragging that right across. Just right down this way. There we are. Just letting that paint break across. There we go. Let's clean off this palette knife. Then we're going to come to some of this, our burnt umber, and we're going to mix that. We don't want this highlight to be super yellow. Maybe a little bit of red in there. There we go. So what we're going to do is the flame is picking some of this up. So you can see that. Some of that rock is just, it's picking up that flame there. There we are. There we are. Now let's go to our villain there. Let's go to our villain. Let's highlight him a little bit in the same way. So we're going to come we're going to come to that that gray color because he's wearing a suit of armor. We're just going to give some detail here. We might even need to lighten that up just a little. We don't want it to be so dark it's not a highlight. It wouldn't be a highlight, would it? There we are. There we are. Let's just give him some angles here, right down this way on his suit of armor.
There we go. So you can pick some of that up too. I got it so thick on there that some of it's picking up. This arm of his that stretches out. There we go. And of course you can use Oh, you can use more detailed and fine brushes to do this work as well. We just want to do it kind of quickly, just to show you the possibility. It doesn't mean you have to go through this step by step with me. Of course, that's a way to do it too. You can do that. That's fine. But what you can do is you can see the example that I'm doing. And then you can come along and you can improve it. You can make it even better than mine. <laughs> That's not hard to do. No, no. There we go. There we go. That mask of malice. A mask of malice of his, I tell you. And we'll just leave that cape back there. We're not going to highlight that at all. These legs. Those long shanks of his. There we go. Highlight those. Try and give it some more angle. I don't want it to look. Don't want it to look like a scarecrow standing there, that's for sure. Just put some angles in there. There we go. Now we can come again to that highlight color. Just mix some of that up. And just a few of these edges here. Just a few right along this edge that's closest to the fire. There we go. Uh, it's going on a little thick there, but that's okay. That's okay. You always know when when old Timbo stops at talking, he's thinking a lot. I can't I can't use my brain and my mouth at the same time. No, no, it gets a little difficult for me. That's right. Put in some of these angles. There we go. And remember, we can always come back with a finer brush. When this gets a little dry. We can go over it, put some more details on there. There we go. But you might be saying, no, oh, Timbo, there's one thing you're missing. One thing you're missing. The one, one ring. <laughs> That's right. The one ring. So we're just going to use this smaller palette knife. We're just going to pick that up a little bit and see if we can deposit that right on his finger. No, we didn't. We didn't. It did not go on. I just picked up more black. 
See if we can get it this time. This is a hard thing to do. Just putting <laughs> it won't go on. The one ring won't go on. Oh, you made a mistake, Sauron. You made it and it won't even go on your own finger. Let's try this. Let's try this. Because that's a thick point, thick paint, we may need to thin this out a bit. See if we can deposit that on there. We may need to come back. Oh, I almost did it, then I picked some paint up. We're getting close. We're getting close. Now, if I was trying to pretend like I was the best, I wouldn't even show you any of these attempts. I'll just, I'd just be like, boop, there, I did it. But you, I want you to be able to see that, oh, Timbo has trouble with this sort of thing, too. Oh, Timbo has trouble with this, too. Oh, I got it on there. I got it on there. You can just see it right there. All right. Who would have thought we'd celebrate so much over just, just a little trinket? Hmm. Who would have thought? That's right. So we've got that. Oh, there's Sauron standing over that lake of fire down there. And uh, he's got the one ring on. Now we can come back and we can do more details on there. We can do more details. We can put more smoke in there and that sort of thing. But the paint we put down was really thick today. So we may just want to let that dry a bit and then come back over and put more details on. But I just thought that would be a fun one. It's late at night. Oh, and these, these black canvases are always fun when we do this fire. So I hope it worked out. I hope you can even see it. I'm not sure if you can because of the, because of the lights in here. All right, now one more thing, one more thing. I know I already said goodbye and all that. Well, as you watch it, I'll put that after this. But I did notice I thought this was pretty stark down here once I got to look at it and, and see. So every now and then it's good to step back and take a look at your paintings and then you can go in and see what you've done. But I thought this down here, this looked a little too sharp. So what we would do is we want to just roll that out, let that get lost in some of the, the mist and the fog down here. There we go. That makes it so it's not so stark, not just like it's floating out there. So now we'll go back to it and I'll say goodbye. And remember, I appreciate any likes, subscribes, comments, shares, all of that. All of that I appreciate. So if you do that, please, that'll help me out. And if you'd like an old print that old Timbo does, you can find those at timbotook.com and you can find prints there. So I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you very much. Goodbye and God bless.